Well, hello everyone. My name is Robert Pasek, Flyfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today, I'm going to be tying a cool um, leech pattern. Probably one of my top three leeches. I love this leech. Um, sim fairly simple to tie and uh, super effective. I tie it like this, and I tie it in a balanced version as well. So, let us get her going. So, let's start in the vise. I have a Hens BL. 724 in a size 10. I do these in a size 8, 10, 12, and a 14, just depending on where I'm fishing. Uh, this is a uh, um, metallic black um, bead, oversized, 532. Going to be using some Semperfly Nano Soap in black. Going to be using some black Hens Marabou for the tail. And then I'm going to be using um, this uh, uh, two different types of dubbing from uh, Stu Thompson. Um, uh, this one here is called Midnight Fire. It's kind of like the original cop car. Uh, it's uh, uh, red with a little bit of a uh, uh, black, sorry, with a little bit of red and a little bit of blue flash in it. And then I'm going to use a little bit, again, another one of his uh, Stu Thompson's Dark Water dubbing is the name brand, um, and just in red. Okay. Um, also, uh, sometimes I will do it like this. Sometimes I'll even do it with a red glass bead. So, but for today, we'll be using this this uh, gunmetal black one. So, like always, just start your tying thread. I've been tying a lot of uh, these lately, so there's a little bit of fluff everywhere. So, <laughs> so I'm going to take my marabou and you see how I stripped off the one side already that's what I'm going to do here so I'm going to just grab it strip it fold it over grab it strip it fold it over just making a little bundle here a little package for the tail fold it over fold it over pull that all off there's my little my little package okay so now I'm going to just grab that just going to wet it just a little bit just so I can see the length. I want the length about the length past the, the uh, body, like the length of the, of, of the body past the tail, past the bend of the hook, sorry. So about there, about there, so I'm going to cut it about there. I want to keep this body fairly consistent, so I'm going to go right up to the, right up to the bead, tie that in. And then just leak, make sure you keep your marabou on the top. And just come all the way back to the bend. Not Don't go around the bend. And then go under the tail, pull it towards the front, over the top. Under the tail, pull it towards the front, over the top. Okay? Oh, yeah, and the other thing I'm going to be using, I forgot, is the Gala and Red Blend from Zemper Flash. Just, for, just a couple of pieces for the tail. Not, I don't want a lot of flash in this but uh, I do want a little bit, so just a couple of pieces, come back forward, just catch that in on the top, bring it back, and then what I like doing is I like splitting it, a couple down each side, make sure that stays down the side, like that. I want it just slightly longer than my tail, and I mean just slightly. I'm gonna move my vice just a little bit so you guys can actually see. There you go. Now let's see if I can zoom that in a bit. There we go. Okay. Right. So now come back to the front here. I'm gonna make a dubbing loop. And that dubbing loop all the way back. Lock that in, bring that forward, put in my, of course my dubbing spinner is hidden underneath my camera, put in my dubbing spinner, and I'm going to take a little bit of that dark water dubbing, that black red blend, the midnight red, or midnight black, or whatever it was called again, I always forget the name of this one. Midnight Fire, that's what it was called. I don't know why I always forget the name of it, but I always do. I had to have Gary Hanky correct me on my last video so that I used it on. So 
Oh, a good chunk of that in there. Grab a little bit more of that. And put it in there. I'll spread this in a minute. And I'm going to get a little bit, just a little tiny bit of that red. I don't want a ton of the red. Just a little bit of that red. And put that in. So now, I'm just going to take it and spread this out. Just a little bit. Okay. Give my spinner a really good spin. There's my noodle. Okay. Now, take a wire brush. I'm just kind of going back and forth in it a bit here. This is this um, this material, this uh, dubbing. It's uh, that Stu developed, I think, back in in the eighties. Um, it's um, it's got uh, um, dyed black rabbit, and uh, then the the, uh, the blue and silver and red or blue and red um, angel hair. That's what gives it this uh, beautiful look. But it, man, it just it just so nice. This dubbing, so soft. So once it's all picked out like that, kind of just touching wraps, touching wraps. After I've done about two or three, I'll take my brush, try not to brush your marabou, just loosen some of that stuff off at the back there. Another, just keep touching wraps all the way forward here. And once you get to the front, right behind the bead, you want one to two wraps of this red. my dubbing loop there so that's not looking too bad I don't want a lot of that red in the front so now I'm gonna whip finish right now four or five turns now at this point I usually put some uh, head cement I'm not gonna for the fly for the demo so now that's cut off. Now what I'll do is I'll take my, again, this brush and get pretty aggressive here. is pretty well the finished fly. Now what I like doing is I like taking my little Velcro as well and just getting in there, especially in between the hook. I'm just pulling that out. And that's it. That's your finished fly. So now uh, I'll, I'll actually get this one. I'm going to get this one wet for you guys just to show you what it looks like when it's wet. Now this isn't fully wet, it's just me with saliva, but there, and you just got that little bit of that red collar there, right? So it's a really good pattern, works really well. Uh, you can tie it in many different sizes. Um, I tie it in a tan color, I tie it in a green, um, a green one. Um, let's see, do I have one handy here? Let's see if I can show you. Uh, here's a tan one I'll show you this is this one's actually for a buddy of mine in, in the Kamloops area he this is the fly he swears by so I've been tying up a whole bunch for him but um, again same exactly the same except that it's just got the tan tan tail uh, the tan body and uh, a little bit of a rusty brown uh, collar but again all that dark water dubbing so yeah so I experiment with that one and have some fun. Um, like I said, this 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 fly works really really well, and uh, yeah, just uh, ripper and stripper, or uh, um, tie this with a uh, um, a uh, uh, in a jig style um, and uh, hang this under an indicator. Works really really well. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
And if you subscribe, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. And uh, when we get up to uh, 1,500 members, I have a new get giveaway. Uh, it's a copy of the Osprey Flybox uh, book. Uh, it's a great book. I've got a cop brand new copy of that that I will be giving away once we hit 1,500 subscribers. So share, share, share. Tie lines, everyone. Thank you.